What's going on guys? We are here with a review for the Remy 8 Bravo at 4 stars maxed. This is going to be really tough because this gun has a lot of shortcomings. Right off the bat, range. Look at this range, man. I cannot hit a single thing. Second is ammo. We got 15 rounds. Ooh, 3 star. BRW M18. Grab a screenshot of that guy. I haven't been killed by one of those before. You know, another shortcoming is the ammo. Four star has 15 rounds. Oh, we got a kill there. We got a kill. That's not bad. But, you know, on the plus side, portability is decent. I forget the specific number. We'll look at stats here in a second. You see that range? I mean, it's completely ineffective outside of that distance. Oh, seven star M349 Nightcrawler. Grab a screenshot of that guy, too. I don't think I've been killed by one of those. Pretty interesting, different to see. I don't know what's going on up here. Where'd that guy go? There he is. I mean, see, right in that distance, it's completely ineffective. You have to get right up to the enemy to really do some damage. You know, when you're in that very, very close range, it can actually kill quick going on here um, but it's near impossible to get into that range look how fast we run we'll just escape that guy I'm rocking the what's it called royal colonel gear set not the gear set the pants royal colonel pants and the two-piece specter nightcrawler specter gear set and spawn campers. Five star BRW M18 Bravo. Looks like it's just as common as the good old SMR or SMR Autumn. Seriously, seven star CQR 2000 Adam. Man, people are building up their inventories, man. It's getting crazy out here. Let's see if we can do anything. I'm not expecting to do much. Head to head with the CQR, we get a host migration. And we lost off the spawn. Gotta love it. Another lovely feature of After Pulse. Um, <laughs> is there still a guy back here? Yeah, there is. Look at these campers, man. We see it's no contest there. I mean, something like the UNK, even an ST3C would have at least had a chance in that fight there. But we have no chance with this Remy 8. Let's see. I think spawns flipped. Got some stuns equipped. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Alright. I'll get this guy, catch him. Oh, I thought he was reloading. Could have sworn I saw him reloading. But yeah, I mean, this weapon is the ultra short range SMG, and it, it doesn't even have, you know, enough ammo to to make up for that, that lack of range. And I mean, fire rate is really good. Fire rate is really high, but that just means it's going to burn through that ammo really quick, so... I don't think I can recommend this gun. Obviously, this is just a four-star review. There's a positive. You can run circles around people, at least with this gear setup. <laughs> that guy couldn't even turn fast enough to shoot us. But definitely cannot recommend this gun at four stars. Um, I have enough pieces for the seven-star. I'll build it eventually just because, you know, you know my story. I want to build every gun in the game at some point. But it's going to be low priority, and if a new series comes out before I get to it, then I will hold off on doing that. Uh, but I do I do have a 6-star right now, so I'll at least level up the 6-star a bit and try to get a video out there with that guy. See if it's, you know, at least useful. Usually, you know, if a weapon's decent, it should be, you know, playable at 6-stars at, at some point, right? So we'll see how that is, but overall I cannot recommend it. Jump into ranked again, see if we can find one more game, give you a little more gameplay this time around. I don't think we'll jump into training. I mean, that's just a waste of time with this guy. So, you know, for the stats here, we'll look at damage, 1583. I think that's pretty low. Not sure how that really compares to other SMGs. Compare it to a Nox K Jade at six stars max, 2980. So I guess 15 isn't too bad for a four star maxed. ST3C six star max. All right, so damage is 1668 on a six star maxed ST3C Alpha, which isn't a terrible gun. That gun can definitely be played with. So. 
1583 is, is not too bad on the damage, I guess. Uh, rate of fire 5400, and that's at a 4 star maxed, so I'm 99% sure I'd have to double check the stats just to be 100% sure, but 99% sure it gets over 6000 rate of fire. If you watch my past videos on rate of fire thresholds, I did 3000 versus 3001, and I did a video, a better video in my opinion, on 4000 versus 4001 rate of fire. Portability 660, not bad at all. Um, not the fastest, ST3C is 680, uh, but 660 is not bad, and we'll get to the remaining stats after this match here. Looks like we're loading in on Raised Fort. So Raised Fort might be a decent map to try this guy on. Ooh, James Payne, what's up dude? Off the bat, we managed to get the kill, I think we got some help from our teammate who was right there with us. Oh, he's right there. Oh, <laughs> five star AG10 Tiger. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Doesn't have any particularly high rate of fire or anything like that. All right, so we are back. Recording completely crashed, but I'm just going to stay in the match, and that's lovely. Get blown up by AGL 660 Autumn. I'm just going to leave it in the video, and uh, should still be a, a decent match. We didn't miss too much time. I just stood in the corner and got wrecked. Um, Alright, we got a kill there. Not bad, not bad. Let's see, oh, he was behind me. The ST3C AWD. Man, I played with mine recently again. I got the 5 star maxed, and I think I have enough pieces to build the 7 star. That 5 star maxed ST3C is, is not a bad gun. Probably gonna get AGL'd. Oh, James is down here. Did we get him? Yeah, we got him. There we go, head to head. The AG-10 Tiger, like I said, shouldn't be the worst fight ever for us, but obviously we died at the same time. Certainly our protection is not the highest value wearing this gear setup. James is behind us. Ah, couldn't reload in time. I wasn't sure if I should go for James or chase down that guy. Probably should have went for James. It looked like the guy I was chasing was wearing the SMG protection helmet. Although, James Payne might have been as well. Did that not... Alright, he's wearing stun protection. Oh, what's up, Beats fan? Harrison, Beats fan. He's in Discord. What's up, dude? Got some homies in the review here. Oh, come on, we got him. There we go. Oh, we got this guy. We're gonna chase him down. Don't turn around, don't turn around. Oh, it's Beats fan. No, no, no. Oh, did we get him? No, our teammate got him. Dang, he was moving so quick I couldn't even aim. I probably could have had him with some better skill there, but I kind of went into panic mode once I saw him moving so quick. Let's see, I saw one run this way. I'm just going to run. Nope, <laughs> that was stupid. Four star A500, cinnamon bun. I love my A500 cinnabar. I'd love to post some more gameplay with that, but... I feel like whenever there's a sal going on, I have to post videos on the current weapons, like in this case, World War One weapons. Oh, I think that's Bees fan. Where is he? Where is he? No, 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 no. Oh, he got us. <laughs> See, I mean, you just deplete your ammo so quick. If you miss a single shot, you're done. I think I'm going to leave the review at that, 5 and 10, I forget what the other score was, but it was pretty much similar, like 0.5 KD, you know, insane, insane, this gun is not worth it at 4 stars, and I played with the 6 star a little bit, it's not leveled up, but I played with the 6 star a little bit, and I'd say it's not worth it even at that point, but I'll be back with a video on that, and we are going to evolve this guy, if I have enough burners. Alright, so we are going to evolve this guy, give you a good 360 look of it. There's the 4 star maxed. I'll go over the rest of the stats, like I said. Um, we were on accuracy 1096, that's really low. That should be a lot higher considering all the other stats. Um, stability 1359, that's good enough. Uh, range 900, I think I mentioned that before. Uh, pretty low. And ammo at 15, that's just given the high rate of fire that's just way too low like you don't you don't have any like I don't know <laughs> you know at least the reload speed is quick but 
even with the the Spectre vest that I was wearing, which has a, a bonus for faster reload speed with SMG, um, you know, even then it, it's it's just not worth it. It's just not working out. Um, and so the description says this classical weapon deals a great amount of damage at close distances thanks to its high rate of fire. And so, like I said, damage is, is not too bad of a stat at 1583 at four stars maxed. Um, and you saw, I mean, we can get some kills in close range, but you really have to be right up there and your aim, like your personal skill level of aim has to be, you know, spot on to get the kill. So I would not recommend this gun, like I've been saying, and we're going to do the evolve here. Let me find some burners. All right, so there's our burners, throwing in a Hydra 860 Autumn at four stars, AC-30 Dragon at four stars, and an AKSG-12 Jade at four stars. And throwing another four star Remy 8 Bravo, and take a look at the stats here, damage goes down just 20 points, rate of fire goes down 80 points, accuracy goes down a little bit there, stability, I don't feel like doing the math. <laughs> Stability stays the same, ammo stays the same, and range goes down 30 points. So, we will max out a 5 star, be back with that review, but probably before we do that, we'll be back with some other weapons reviews. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed this one. Oh, seriously, we're out of coins. That's the most annoying thing ever. Alright, I'm gonna jump into training, and I'll be right back with this Evolve. The worst part is just gonna be selecting the burners again. Alright, so we are back here with the Evolve. Just did one training match, got about 40,000 in rewards, so it costs 60 18,800 to evolve and we will do that and we get the five star remy 8 bravo pretty cool looking weapon little shiny looks almost blingish i don't know uh but there is the five star should be updated yeah there we go there's a look at the five star and we'll be back with some more classic weapons reviews and other after pulse videos as well as other game videos on my channel be sure to check them out and subscribe so you don't miss a thing and as always i will catch you on the next video